Kibbe dip. DJ K. Kibbe dip. DJ K. Meta. On them ones and twos. Kibbe dip. That's what's up. That is awesome. This is the Christina Payne Show. I am Christina Payne. To my right is Troy Webb. Ka do do be da boo wa. To my left <laughs> is Rallo Boykins. <laughs> Said a sweeter than them did up. What's up, y'all? And to my further, 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 further left is the one and the only, the beautiful and fine self yeah. over there, Miss Olivia Fox. Thank Happy you, birthday, Christine. boo. Thank you, baby. Oh, Thank Happy you. birthday. Yeah, that's so funny. Love. Thanks. You stand up. <laughs> yes. Really yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're really great. They are. Oh yeah. my God. And you so much energy in here. Thank Everybody's you. so energetic. It's awesome. Yes. I love it. I'm so glad you came. I'm glad to be here. I am. We have cupcakes for you. Yeah, we made them mm. ourselves. I brought you candy. Can you pass her the candy? Yeah. Girl, she know my favorite. You like yes, candy? Mm-hmm. I do. With Snickers and Reese's. Those oh, are my two favorites. Can, can, we, the only can we see you eat that Snickers? Shut <laughs> up. Oh, oh, I just, oh, I mean, first yeah. of all, y'all oh, mind is getting a good I'm not trying to mess up your household, I want to make sure okay? her, her. I've done enough. Oh, I've done enough damage Listen, in my time. I just want to make sure her blood sugar <laughs> level is right, no, man. That's I'm all. good on that, oh, bad, boo. I just, I'm looking out for you. Yeah. Oh, Nah. Hey, I'm well, out for you, we sweetie. all can use a sweetie. little looking out for you, sweetie. <laughs> sweetie. Sausalito. I had to put them on sweetie notice. <laughs> sweetie. Okay. Honey. As long as you got a sweet tooth, it's oh, okay. Oh, no. But I don't want to ask how young you are. I'm 48 today. <laughs> you There's no way you're 48. 48. I am 48. There's I no was born the same year the St. Louis Arch was put up, 1965. You said it's job. That's cancer. <laughs> I am. Really? I am, dear. Wow. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying that in the best way. Like I, I am 48, th- yes. Wow, that's And beautiful. I say it very proudly, too. Nah, because you, you wear it well. There's some bitches out here that are 28 <laughs> that are told up. So, you know. Yeah, yeah, you some of you bitches. bitches. <laughs> Y'all yeah. bitches just 28 and you toe up, you okay, know? Okay, your and toes it's easy, look 28. And it's easy to look good with money. This is looking with no money. So yeah. imagine how I am with money. <laughs> mm. Exactly. Sickness. Well, She's money funny. cometh. But now you're confident. It is. Thank coming. you. I am. That's good. I am. Yes. That's God. That's all you see. That's my sister. Yeah. That's why I'm here, because this is my boom. And Aww. I think God kind of brought us together because we're on similar paths. Yes. She's much, much younger. But I've learned Not so much, much from much. her. Well, yeah. They're much, much younger. Yeah. <laughs> well, how old are I'm you? A you're how three old are you? years older uh, than me. Too. Yeah, so you're much, much, much. <laughs> Not you couldn't be my child. But, <laughs> right, right, right. But no, I just we just vibe That's and we have sense. a lot of um, similar thoughts and morals <laughs> and values and you know she just she touches me so. Aww. And That's not good. in a lesbian type way. <laughs> right. Although, Jesus. although sometimes when that bitch come in here, I'll be like, all right. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm Don't strictly kid dickly. Like that. I'm strictly oh, dickly. Yes. I am. I am. Well, no, it but. It is your birthday, and I made you cupcakes. Yeah. yeah. Christina, Let's see the reveal. And I like the Somebody Tupperware. Opens. That's awesome. You know, <laughs> okay. when you get older, you trip off of shit like that. Tupperware. Oh, yeah. That's Tupperware cute. is important. It is. You need to find them lids. Yes, you know? girl. You got to have Shoot. those. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, they're like flowers. Let me look. Yeah. Oh my god, you made those? I did. Where do you get Ooh. these little things from? They were something new I found at Party City. And Don't I was you love like, Party City? I love Party City. Oh my Party god, City those are beautiful. Michaels. Yeah, and I, I didn't have I wasn't able to get you flowers, so I was like, let me make these look oh, like flowers. Hey, Which party city awesome. you go to? That's I go awesome. to the one way out in Fredericksburg. Oh, it's in Fredericksburg. Wow. Virginia. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's far. Yeah, that just you know they got one right in, Glim- <laughs> in Greenbelt, right? <laughs> oh, they do. They do, <laughs> I, I but they're always out of stuff, though. That, that one is that. always out of no, stuff. No, but though. you do have to go to places like that. I think like it's the, a hood yeah, one. The Dollar General, the like line. Annapolis, yeah. is unlike any Dollar General you have ever been to you in your life. Yeah, Dollar General. Yes, it's crazy. They got the good fruit punch. Yes, where customer service is real. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Thank you. You are welcome. Um, and this then your festive. candy, and I gave you a gift yesterday, so I hope you enjoy yeah. that. What do you have planned for your birthday? Um, well, you know, I have a little one, and she thinks that my birthday, birthday celebration <laughs> is about her. Yeah. Um, so she's like, well, can we go to the mall and do a movie for your birthday? I'm like, I heard that. yeah, sure. So you, you know. can buy her stuff Right, that's birthday. all it is. That all it is. That's Hilarious. all it is. You know what? As I've gotten older, it seems like every birthday, with the exception in the past, I would say five years or so, has always been a knockout, drag out party. You know, I mean, I went hard on my 30th. I was in Boston. Oh, I had like yeah. Eddie Levert and Gerald Levert sing. Oh, really? You know, oh, yeah. those oh, kind yeah. of, li- because you work in entertainment, so you right. get those kind of things. I think yeah. uh, when I, last time I was at Magic, Robin Thicke came in and sang oh, Happy Birthday God. with a cake, you know. So 
after having that level of birthday celebration, and especially as you get older and you have children, it's kind of yeah. like, it's more like I feel like I need to go to church and just be thankful. I feel you. You know what I mean? Can you I get to that, that level. Can I ask yeah. you a question? But I'm partying Saturday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear uh, what we were saying um, in entertainment news about Nia Long and uh, the statement she, were making, she was making? No, I didn't. I was actually... It was something pertaining to, I guess, women and going after their career goals and, as opposed to worrying about having a family. Right. Like, what do you think about that? Should well, you... I'm, I'm glad you said that because I heard you guys talking about getting married. I was not I was 35 when I got married. Yeah, that's what so, she was touching on. Yeah. Exactly. So um, yeah. I just think everybody's different. You know, for me, I was chasing the dream. Right. You know, and did everything and accomplished and did everything. did it so well. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed myself. Yes. yes. So, and I don't and think I could have done the things that I did if I had children. Right. Um, and so when my daughter came along, I had actually lost my job. I found oh, out I was geez. pregnant with her maybe a week after. Right. And so I was able, That's still good. under contract, so I was still getting a check, and I was able to focus on having her and enjoying her. Right. Because um, a lot right. of women have to jump right back into work right. after having a kid. So. so I met you when you were pregnant then. Yes. Yeah. 2003. That's wow. crazy. Wow. Oh, wow. three? Yeah, oh, three. I don't, you guys might 10. remember, but remember I said that I did that Miss DC and I was like a I runner up? That. Yeah. And then that was she the was Saturday the after I got fired. It was. It was the day after that the Friday. The day after I got fired. And then that Monday, I was all looking forward to hearing you because I just met you. Yeah. I was right. like, I just met my idol. Oh my God, I love it Olivia sure was. Fox. I remember that. Yes. Because I didn't feel like going. Yeah. <laughs> I did. And I was like, I'm pissed. Please don't let nobody ask me about this yeah, shit. And but I felt it. I they felt did. it was something too. I was like, she's not her oh, regular. Man, it was crazy. I, I felt like your eye was a little teary a little crazy. bit. It was crazy. It was like, crazy. That whole time yeah. in my life was completely insane. Yeah. When you get fired at that level, it's not like you're fired and you go home. It was just it was just insane. It was yeah. really, really horrible. And just imagine if we would have had Twitter or something back then. Yeah. Like, it was, I'm glad. Oh, I saw <laughs> something on Instagram that says something about people in their 40s get away with everything they did because the computer and Twitter and all that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, out. yeah. And I'm like, thank <laughs> you, Jesus. Okay. Because, woo. But, but you but you had your daughter later. Yeah, so I was that, 37, I think, when I had her. That's, that's good. What I'm that's talking a good age. about. No, no, but that's what yeah. I mean. Like, do you think you appreciated having your daughter later I, as opposed to maybe if you were younger? I think um, if I'd known it was as it is, I would have had started earlier okay oh, okay okay now that i look back on it yeah. so i encourage have children when you're young ladies not having babies him. is for the how young, young no yeah. not young. old dusty uterus having bitches <laughs> <laughs> 20 where you got to be going to the hospital every day because Damn. you're high risk because really? after 35 oh, no. your ass is high risk after yeah 35? after the age of 35 you're just considered high risk oh, just wow. regular Damn. now if you have some like hypertension or diabetes overweight it's even then it's even more yeah Dang. Yeah. That's so. why our sisters is panicking. Well, Damn. yeah, because after 35, they said your AIDS aren't as fresh. Oh. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so yeah, you're no more way. likely to have miscarriages. You're more likely to have birth defects. And if you ever uh, eaten a rotten egg on yeah. that. You can have kids all the way up until they die. Right. Yeah. You know, women, it gets kind of... But, you know, we see some stories. Halle Berry, how old is Halle? 45. Yeah. But she and got, she has diabetes. She got that. Really? really? Yes. What? But that's she it. got the sugar? She takes shots. Yeah. You didn't know, know that? Hell no, look at all that good. But that's, 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 that's in vitro too. No, <laughs> the, she had diabetes before she had kids. No, I'm, yeah. I'm saying, but to have the pregnancy, she the way had she's a baby in at vitro, 45. Right? In yeah. vitro, them eggs is and also usually when you're older, you're more likely to have twins. So if you have twins in your oh, family wow. on both sides, that's why a lot of old chicks have twins, end up yeah. having multiple births. Wow. See? Hey, shout it out to the sisters and, and, and having them babies because that yeah. it looks graphic. That shit it hurts. it yeah. looks yeah. graphic. It hurts. And I'm glad it ain't me. It, it could be you. I'm People, oh, you know, you get over it. No, no, you don't. I I never forget that pain. Yeah. Shit. Mm. The Did you worst take the pain drugs? I've ever like had ever, in ever, my life. Ever, ever, ever. Ever. Dang. Dang. Did you take the drugs or no? Woo. I did. I had two epidurals. Shit. Oh my god! Epidural. My first one only did half of my body, and the second one didn't really, really take. Was you like? And then I still the ended drugs? up having a C-section. Wow! Oh and my then, god! This explains why a lot of sisters hate their baby fathers. Now I understand. Well, it's a go lot through of that. <laughs> Yeah, they to go, go through, through that and then he still act. I, I, I can't. Can it, I can't I even. Can. I can't even sugarcoat it. It hurts. Yeah. Oh. My girlfriend just had a baby through her vagina. And, um, Shout out to the C-section. She says she hasn't had sex in two months and that her boyfriend is like begging her. Men don't understand. Well, they don't understand. Like, a lot of 
before. Yeah. That's what she said. So if you can imagine your penis sack, your, your oh, ball why sack, do all being all ripped all open, why we gotta do that's it like what that? it's like. Are your urethra holes yes. ripped? Why we yes. gotta do it like <laughs> Because that? men don't understand. I think if men had vaginas, they would you know, be a little bit more tolerant. That just made me right. speechless. Or if y'all yeah. bled like seven days out the month, y'all every need month. To stop putting First that on us. Yeah, okay, hey, read man. your book. Hey, read the Bible. <laughs> we go through, we go through stuff the Bible. too. That explains we go, that. We go through stuff y'all like don't go what? through. Like y'all what? Come on, blue balls? Come on, man. When blue last balls. Time you had blue blue balls, balls is y'all fault though. It might be. Balls. That's not our fault. Nah, we rubbing in all that three hours. Come on, what you think gonna happen? <laughs> you got the wrong woman. Yeah, exactly. Right. I had Uh-oh. the wrong woman. I got the right one now. <laughs> if you got the right woman, you shouldn't have blue balls. No, that was saying in the past. You I've, be had, I've, I've had blue balls, Olivia. I don't have them now. You, know, you don't. Dark-skin. They're brown now. <laughs> They're brown. Yeah. I'm dark skin, so mine get purple. Thanks for I the think I know, I know a little, bit, <laughs> little bit too much about you guys. See? Right. He up here talking about his warm brown nuts. <laughs> Come on, Troy. <laughs> his kids listening here. This show just got graphic. Shout out to my four year old. Talk about uh, child, child birth and C section. Y'all not gonna put this on me. <laughs> Y'all started with the splitting urethras and shit. Urethras. Don't put this on We're me. We're using medical terms here, okay? Yes. <laughs> Shout out to my family in St. Louis that are watching. Thank are you. you. St. Louis? The three one four. Absolutely. Saint Louis. Man, that's dangerous. It is. That is I have a dangerous. pistol. I have a pistol in my glove compartment. Right there. <laughs> and a razor blade in her. No, cheek it's at home. Right it's now. at home. Did you know Nelly? I was ignorant, but he's I from U City, and my okay. mom lives in the line of U City and Ladue. Okay. Didn't know him, but I know where that Negro come from. Hello. Hey. St. Louis is rough, homes. It is. Yeah, don't don't even sleep on that. Saint, I've is. been. St. Louis is, is hurt. like the whole the whole St. Louis. It is. <laughs> That's it like is. Southeast, bro. The whole of St. Louis. The, the, the well, whole St. Louis. Like <laughs> so you have downtown St. Louis, yeah, and then hurt. you go across the river where it's East St. Louis. So that's okay. like St. Louis times infinity. Okay. And then you know the suburbs. So yeah. Oh, my yeah. Gosh. yeah. That's crazy. East St. Yeah. Louis. Well, we're glad to have you. It is your birthday. Yeah, I'm glad if to you be have here. any favorite songs, please let DJ K Meta know or Christina. And we'll we will get that. those on. No, I'm for actually, you, as well. you know, I'm I'm cool. I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, we're happy to have I'm you. Happy to Thank be you. Here. Yeah. We I got can I just shout some people out? Of course. My um Facebook page is just like completely insane. And I just really wanted to say, because um I blew you up all day that was coming on i just really wanted to say honestly on facebook it trips me out when people talk about the morning show i used to be on but it is the same amount of time that my daughter is year wise that i've been gone Mm -hmm. um so i just really wanted to shout everybody out on facebook and all of the social media that continue to support me yes um that continue to lift me up in prayer y'all have been there in some times in my lives where things have been really really rough and touch and go and didn't even really know if I was going to make it, but I'm here and y'all continue to support me. Yes. I got to say what's up to my people in Atlanta who called me this morning. Yes. What's up? Hey, um, ATL. And uh, <laughs> my people in Baltimore, what's up? Yeah. And what um, in Dallas as well. What really, do? what's up? So, um, and I know great things are getting ready to occur for me. I, my hand always itches in the when I. Name of Jesus. <laughs> when them big fat six figure jobs come along. So I got that feeling again. So I'm just looking forward to whatever God has for me. Man. Can I ask one more thing? Sure. Um, out of all the like celebrities you've interviewed, who was your favorite or most memorable? Um, well, I didn't really, really interview him because he was really, you know, well into his illness. But I would say probably the highlight would be Muhammad Ali. Whoa. Um, okay. This is when the Radio 1 facilities were in the NBC studios wow. where the Today Show was shot. And he was there for that. And somebody went down and grabbed him and brought him in. But in terms of, like, really somebody that's really, really deep and deeper than what I thought he would be. And I end up just, like, being a huge fan of his is Lamont Rucker. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. He's so beautiful, you know, and you get caught up, but mm-hmm. the brother really is of something. Yeah. And I just really enjoyed interviewing him. He's real treat. I heard treat. he talks really slow in interviews. Is that true? Um, I don't remember him speaking slowly, okay. but I do remember him making a lot of sense on so many levels. Like he's like super intelligent mm-hmm. and a real humanitarian. Yeah. Can you tell us who so, that is just for those Lamar who don't know? Lamar Rucker. Lamar Rucker. He's been in all of Tyler Perry's movies. Yeah. He's on oh. one of those shows. Um, of Tyler Perry. I don't yeah. watch. Okay. Was, I don't watch him. Was he in um, the dude with the ashy knee show? He I was the knew. guy who was the park ranger who helped. Gotcha. Jill Scott. Thought, that's who I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but he's from D.C. So, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So yeah, shout out to the Rucker family. He's from the city on the low. He was on that Tom Joyner cruise with us this year, and they were previewing that movie. I don't know if you see it. Are do you support Respar's movies at all? I have never seen one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not that I don't support, but I just I've never seen one. But um, the last one that he did was like a church something. It was kind of like church mafia ish, where the pastor was a gay deacons involved taking over, and it was some other stuff going. Anybody gay in it? Gay deacon. I don't know. No, you know how those people. Somebody's gay. Yeah, you know how those. Gay deacon, gay pastor. But that's Isaiah Washington was in it, and then Lamar is in it, and then um, what's her name? Who has a baby with Makai Pfeiffer is in it? Who used to be on Soul Food. Oh, I love her. Yeah. Um, the little, the little chocolate right, one with the short with hair, the pretty lips, I like her. Yeah. She got yeah. nice, nice dimples. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, didn't know that. I almost That's said her name, daddy. but yeah, I know exactly who you're yeah, talking about. She's in it. It was pretty good. I, I was kind of surprised because yeah. usually, the, you know what, he always wanted to do that. Like that so, right? it's it's <laughs> a good to see him being able to go to that next level. But yeah, he yeah. always talked about doing to, movies. Shout out to him, man, because it's hard for a black actor. But aside from Russ Park, like. People, don't forget, you were on 102.3 for a time. I was. You know, when people talk about jobs, I'm like, which one? Because I've been fired from right. all of them. <laughs> but um, Cause you strong, but that's how sister. radio is. And that's no, what that's we hate. Like, <laughs> radio, radio will change I don't play the game. I don't play the game. That's you why? Know? I just go in and do my shit and roll out. Give me my money. I don't. I don't do the kissy and the make nice nice and the kiss. I don't kiss ass. And shout out to that. Man. So I, I, I've never <laughs> done it. Because they always. I don't want. condone it. It's a always you gotta, you gotta stand and be who you are and be what you are and not be fake and phony with it. You gotta okay. keep it real. That's real. So I, I've never been an ass kisser. So that may have something to do with and it. And shout out to you up? for that. Because yeah. it's so easy never to play that kisser. role. No, when I the can't check's do it. coming in, I can't do okay. It. So yeah. to keep your integrity, it, it says a lot about that. You that means personally. a big. That's a that's a huge thing for me. So that's how I was raised. Yeah. But no, that's that's still you get a congratulations to make it as far as you have without yeah. kissing ass. Okay, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? So. And now if I was sucking cock, who knows? I'd probably Whoa. be on. Uh, cock. Okay, there are, that was there are a couple I know, but we huh? we won't go there. That okay, was yeah. we know men too. We know men and women doing that to get it. To that get is, up on, wild, yeah, I don't is, talk about people's sexual orientation. We do. No, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't. Well, you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Christine well, um, <laughs> damn. <laughs> I, don't care. I have a filter now. Yeah. No, she don't. Um, that's good though. <laughs> <laughs> but, she but is. really quick, um, <laughs> before we go back to K Meta and do a little bit more music, um, Rollo has a segment called Rollo Says. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And then we'll go back to Olivia and then come to Webb's Wisdom. Nice. or Wisdom. Troy stories. Troy stories. Troy stories. <laughs> <laughs> Troy stories. Oh, man, you're away, you're I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rollo, what you got for us, brother? Uh, I'm going to keep it short. Uh, this week, Rollo said, sometimes in life, you got to trim the fat. Mm. Meaning So what? you can make your moves more efficiently. That w- by, by saying that, that means a lot of people don't know they moving with a lot of dead weight. Mm. Lives, whether it's people or hang-ups or mm. your own personal demons, you got to do whatever you got to do to trim that off mm. so you could get the way God wants you to be at. Okay, one, how do you recognize that it is fat? Damn. You really just got to sit there within yourself and, and, and reflect on why you're not making the moves you know you have the, 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 the wherewithal to make. And the talent to make, and you really gotta accept. You gotta ask God. You know what I'm saying? What What am I doing, or what's in my life that's keeping me back? It, it's really not that hard, people. So, in asking, that must mean we need to listen. You gotta listen, man. Right? You got you gotta ah. live your you gotta live your life a certain way so you can recognize. Mm. You know what I'm saying? How about that? He dropping knowledge today, people. How about that? You know can saying? I say something along of that? Course. If I can, just to piggyback, because that is so real. How about it? You know, but when people show themselves to you, right. believe it. Yeah. Mm. That's yeah. what I've always said. Mm. Yeah. That's real. Yeah, that's yeah. a word. That's you, huh? That oh, you is showed a word. me, huh? That's you. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of trimming fat. <laughs> you say that's you, huh? That's you. You showed me. I see now. Speaking okay. of trimming fat, some people need to trim their hair legs. So I bought you, know you some y'all. cocoa butter shaving cream. Yo, oh, girl. Shit. Are you serious? Yes. Man. I was trying to find some new cocoa butter products, and Damn. this is what I came across. I was like, cocoa butter shaving cream? You know, I'm West African, so I'm naturally smooth as Yeah, he is. don't shave. <laughs> Give me that, I'm man. talking about them girls you be dating. Oh. You know, trying to lay up next to you in the bed with their prickly legs. I don't 
don't be dating the Harry Jones, but mm-hmm. we gonna we gonna shave something with this. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. So it's Alito. Well, that's awesome. We gonna do. I appreciate that though. This is hey, nice. The nice. evolution of smooth. I yes. like that. Yes, bro. I take uh, care of you. Oh, they got a trademark. Damn, I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> <laughs> that's an American way. Well, that's what's I like up. that though. That's good. Well, let's go to some music real quick, and Indeed. then we'll be back with Troy Story. How about it? She Thank you for having terrible. me, Christina. <laughs> it's a pleasure. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, and we'll be back Thank with you. more Olivia Thank Fox. You, Olivia. Please Thank stay you. tuned. This is yes. WLBS Radio, ListenVisionLive.com. If you want to catch Olivia Fox on her own radio show, mm-hmm. it is Tuesday noon to 2. Tuesday noon to and 2. And then you can also catch her on the internet at Olivia Fox Radio. And do you have a website or anything? Um, you know no, but you can hit all my stuff at Olivia and Fox Facebook Radio, Instagram, and Facebook. Instagram. Facebook. I'm following her on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Blog, yeah. Olivia Fox Fix. Oh, yeah, your yeah. blog. We got to talk about that. All yeah. right, we'll be right back with Olivia Fox yes, and indeed. Troy Lamont and Rallo Boykins. This, this is the Christina crazy. Payne Show. I'm Christina Payne. Thank you for tuning in. We love you. And thank you to Island Oasis. One Shout of out sponsors. to Island Oasis. She, yes. she, that's a beautiful sister. I right know. There. I love you. All right, we'll yeah. be back. We in the mix with DJ K. Meta. I love Lloyd's baby hairs. You can sing. <laughs> Lloyd got a, he got a little sing. prepubescent voice. I, I would think you, know, you be a well, girl sometimes, you be singing. Man. Like, oh, yeah. like. Well, he hey, is. But if, if y'all ever meet this dude in person, he is so funny. Like, See? he always got jokes. Where are you from? Always. He's, well, he lives in Atlanta. I don't know where he's from. Yeah. But... He's from there? Yeah, he's so funny. Shout out to ATL, man. They yeah, give an opportunity to a lot of black people. Yeah, shout out to you ATL. Got, you got to. Adam. Chucky Thompson, our, um, our uh, friend of the show who was on our show a couple weeks ago, he's down there in Atlanta right now. And I linked him up with my homeboy, Michael Snooty, who uh, works for uh, Neo and Frankie Beverly and Maze. So they're down there acting a fool, having fun, That's making music. Up. I heard the women are nicer down there, too. Are they? Yeah. Down south? Period. I heard they're just nice and more approachable. Oh, no, nah, that's more to than dark skin or light skin men? Uh-oh. You said to dark skin or light skin men? Yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't even know the you color know that came that matters in the south. There. I did not uh, know. Atlanta, you should know that. Atlanta, uh, I don't think <laughs> so. I think I'll do all right for myself, though. Yeah, in Atlanta, yeah, I think we do. would be good. Man. You don't act hella dark skin. <laughs> What does that even mean? <laughs> he, don't, he, don't, he don't act hella dark skin. With Somebody me. told me I don't act light skin. Yes, I've heard what that. What does that mean? Yeah. yeah. That usually yeah. means you down to earth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, they, yeah. they expect light skin girls to be, you know, Snooty super stuck and, up. Yeah. Snooty. And some of them they do, and there's gangsters. no reason. There's no reason for it. <laughs> yeah. Right. You're average at best, dear. Yes. Damn. You know? Damn. Well, <laughs> this is the Christina Payne Show. Welcome Some back. Some people need to get humble. Some people need to be humble. Man. Some people do need to be humble. You ever talk to somebody, you can tell they ain't been punched in the face? In a while, at least in a while. I'm telling you, being punched in the face, <laughs> man, it do it do something for your spirit. Yeah, that will change your life. Yeah, if you grown and getting punched in the face, it really <laughs> changed something for you. Being punched oh, in the face. Well, to my right is Troy Webb. That is I. To I my is him. Left is Rollo Boykins. Sweet up, sweet up, sweet up. To my far left is the one and only Olivia Fox. If you're yes, just tuning indeed. in. I, I, I used to listen to Olivia Fox, man. It's crazy to be I here. Know. Who would have known I would be sitting in the, this life? This life is yeah. crazy. That's yeah. God. <laughs> this life is crazy. Indeed, man. Okay. That is God. Um, That's crazy. DJ K Meta on them ones and twos. It is so hard to come back from a break. We be up in here dancing and yeah. grooving awesome. and stuff. You I'm up good here forgetting people, what we supposed to do. Really What's good, y'all? What's good? What's up? <laughs> I was freaking the little chick who came in here and everything, man. I was a little chick people came in. straight forgot little... where they was at. <laughs> Dang, I got What's a drink. I was about to, about to start charging people walking through the door. Five dollars oh, at the door, two drink minimum. I appreciate like you, way. man. Now, um, <laughs> Troy Stories. Is this the permanent name? Yeah, it's Troy Stories. That's, that's the theme song, the theme music to my shit. <laughs> Shout out to the go-go. Yeah, because it's dying. Cause gentrification ain't gonna be no, <laughs> yeah, ain't gonna no be no more hoods no. to shout out. Yeah, like Tacoma Park, <laughs> like what? Adams Morgan, <laughs> <laughs> damn, Adam like Morgan. Columbia Heights. I know this is crazy. 
And that's it. Leedroit Heights. <laughs> now, Columbia Heights. That's more like, hello, how are you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we are here too. We're here. We go go too, okay? We go go. <laughs> we like it go go. It's okay. It's also go go. It's all right. Hey. It's also go-go. Yeah. This is terrible. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Let's go. We love all our Mexicanos, <laughs> okay? We, we love started all of you. She started we here too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, you started shit. it with Columbia Heights, so. <laughs> we hear those. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> now, if you're just tuning in, sorry. Yeah, okay, we are go. running low. Uh, okay. We are at the show, is almost over. And it's so sad because we don't want to leave you. <laughs> but. Crazy. Troy Stories. Okay, let me do this real quick. Troy Stories is my segment. It's not just consistent of stories, but all kinds of things from my point of view. Today, I am going to give y'all a story. I'm actually going to revisit um, based on my ESP. Um, you got ESP, Olivia? I well, got how ESPN is your ESP? channel. No, I do. Y'all hilarious. Extrasensory perception. That means like you may know something's going to happen before it actually Wait, happens. Wait, did he something. say them big words correctly? Extrasensory perception. Okay, that up okay. The okay. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I know what I want to know what I'm talking about. You, yes, you he watch did. your you watch your mouth, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> now anyway, now nah, my ESP is off the chain, and I'm gonna tell you how one time my ESP it was crazy. So. I was leaving this young lady's house. It may have been like one o'clock in the morning, and um, I was in the side of town I, I wasn't familiar with. It was oh. northeast DC. Oh. Now I was just taking the, the scenic route to get to my place. But okay. anyway, as I was taking this route, I had a suspended license. My tags was messed up and mm. everything, <laughs> and I had weed in the car. Damn. But the police in Washington DC, they get behind you, and you know you don't know if they really are looking for somebody because they had their lights flashing. That's just a you. thing that they do. They bluff so you. when they got behind me. I got paranoid, and I pulled into a neighborhood that I don't even know. They pulled behind me. Wow. So I'm thinking, okay, now to get out, I got to act like I know a house around here or something so the police can get off me. So as I get out of my car, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, y'all. The police are still watching me the whole time. So I get out the car. It's a house that I go into the gate, and I walk up to 1 o'clock in the morning. I said, okay, you know what? If I knock on the door as soft as I possibly can, nobody's going to hear it. I can walk away. <laughs> I tapped on the door soft, y'all. Turned around, and as I was turning around, the door opened. That's crazy. Some dude, he must have been in his late 40s, early 50s, said, yeah, can I help you? Mean-looking dude. I said, "Um, I panicked. I said, is Alicia home? I don't know no Alicia. That's just the first <laughs> name I thought of. This fool said, hold on. <laughs> it's 1 o'clock in the morning, y'all. The police are still watching me, though. So I'm scared as hell because I'm like, okay, this dude got to be setting me up. Ain't I'm knocking. you over by Trinidad. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm knocking on this dude's door. I don't know him. He don't know me. 30 seconds later, though, he comes back up the steps with some little chick, maybe 20 that's years old, crazy. in a robe. She looked, I mean, she looked good, but she looked young and like she was awakened or something. And she said, yeah, can I help you? Who are you? I said, I'm Troy. I got the wrong house. And I turned around. And yeah. as I turned around, the police were gone. And that was it. Like, no, they didn't chase me. It was nothing. They just, I said, I got the wrong house. That's crazy. At one o'clock in the morning. But Alicia, I didn't know no Alicia. I just happened to say this name. That's Lucky crazy. And then there was an Alicia that lived in this house, y'all. That was well, crazy. Well, that definitely to me. wasn't her daddy. No, I don't know who he because, was. Because, um, yeah, it might have been her one sugar in the pop. morning. Oh, you would have yeah. got your tail whipped coming to my house. But like that's, that. de- but that's a true story. Wow. Really Toy happy. Story. But I'm saying, now my ESP, I got other ESP stories, but just for me to just randomly say a name like that and for him to, it was enough time to defer to the police, though, is what I was saying. I think Troy's an angel in disguise oh. and he might not know it. There we the go. Well, angels don't do what I do, but okay. Hello. I take Sometimes it. angels get down here and forget that they're angels. Wow. That's, you know what? I, I, I really accept that and I thank deep. you for that. That's nice. That's deep. Yeah. <laughs> You know, forgot you was angel. Yeah, I ain't know I was no angel, you for, girl. You know, forgot this you nigga, was angel, this brother. This nigga went to Alicia's house and ain't even know it. Yeah, I ain't okay. even know it. Yeah, uh, y'all, y'all fool. Went to Alicia's house, he ain't even know it. All this tomfoolery. Well, um, as you know, that was a nice show. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Felt like a Sunday show. dinner without the food. Hey, where was some cupcakes? We got dessert though. Them, that that oh. cupcake was hidden. Shout out to Miss Payne. Put oh, them thank things. Thank you, Christina. Shout cakes. out to Olivia Fox. Sure. Olivia Fox, so it is your birthday. I'm yeah. so glad you were born. I just spoke to my mother. Oh, mm. how's mommy doing? She's mama, good. Mama, She's mama. beautiful. She, you know, tells the same story. This was the greatest day of my life. Yeah. Oh. Like, don't make me start crying. And we always cry. <laughs> 
Oh. That's that's beautiful. I was ten pounds three ounces. When ten I was born. pounds, girl. And my mother delivered me naturally. Didn't you, mother? Ooh. Through her vagina. Yes. She was a toddler. She when was she in was the hospital. Right. <laughs> okay. She was the a big natural. baby. He was the same size yeah. as she. Almost when killed he was my born. mom. Almost killed my mom. Are yeah. you serious? That's why your mom are close. Ounces. You yeah. you know Shaq. And I'm the only girl and a baby. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shaq was ten pounds when he was born too. My mother was eleven five. Dang. When she was born. Eleven five. <laughs> Yeah. What y'all feeding yeah. babies yeah. in St. Louis? Out of the cornbread and collard greens. I'm 11 5 now, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> right. That, right. I just got the 11 <laughs> 5. And y'all was born at 11 5? Yes, my mother was 11 5. And that was back Damn. in the day, oh you know, like God. back back in the day. That's yeah. a big baby. Hilarious. Yeah, I was a big baby. That baby come out like this. Ah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that baby come out slapping people. Yeah. So I, I put my mother through. Good Lord. From well, the moment I came out. To yeah. your, what's your mom's name? Olivet. Your mom's oh, name is wow. Olivet. Yeah. My Hi, sister's Olivet. name is Olivet. Are you serious? And her birthday is tomorrow. Are you kidding me? Her I'm name not is Olivet. Kidding. Shout out to Olivet Payne. My niece's name is, is Olivet. Oh hey, you God. know what? Are you 30 serious? tomorrow. My uncle's name so is Olay. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't Olivia, but it's close enough. We and his real name ain't even Olay. Oh, we call God, her. You are so ignorant. I, know. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> y'all, y'all really, yes, I'll bet. I'll bet. Yeah. Hi, That's mommy. Crazy. Yeah. Hi, mommy. That's so awesome. I didn't yeah. even know this. Yeah, That's cute. That How did she spell fun. it though? O l i v e t t e. Okay, like the Mount of Olives mm. that Jesus spoke on. That's sweet. My oh. mom is ghetto a little bit, but she's Asian. <laughs> uh huh. Third world country. So hers is O l e v e t t e. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's still like our, olive. But how bet. ironic could that be? That's that that is that's crazy. crazy. And I've known you for over a year. I had no I've idea. I've never known another that's Olivet. Crazy. Neither like, have never. I. Neither have I. That's crazy. Yeah. That's oh my God. I love you that so much. I was named more. after my mommy. Yeah. <laughs> and then Did somebody just fart? I did not. Probably your doggy. Yeah, probably. Just farted right on your lap. <laughs> 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 She laid out too. She probably did. Okay. Well, she's pregnant. Is that the pregnant one or is that the baby? That's the baby. Oh, Rita. You know her bowels aren't all the way strong yet. Oh, bless her heart. <laughs> um, but anyway, if you're just tuning in, this is the Christina Payne heart. show. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen on this show. What? You never know what's gonna be said. But um, thank you so much, Olivia Fox, for thank joining you, us today you. on your special day. Yeah. Coming it joy, all the way here. It was a joy here. to be here. Thank, thank you. you so much. I love much. driving into D.C. It's so much fun. <laughs> 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 nah. But happy birthday to you. I pray that God gives you everything that you need. He already has. Asked for yeah. He already According has. to his plan for your life. Yeah. yeah and I'm just know that greater things are coming. You are I not feel it. done yet. I feel it. I feel okay. it inside. I've been very faithful. So yes, the hurry best. up. The no, best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. And your daughter is going to be such a blessing to even other generations you have no idea i'm really excited to see what happens with her yes yeah yes um but thank you troy webb yeah indeed indeed you better not stumble <laughs> over my name no y'all more are day. so funny do you guys perform around town yeah i'm um, yes. I, i'm glad you said you that shows this weekend yeah i'm at the what is it, the old dominion old draft dominion house. Brew house no brew house brew i'm sorry house. the old ODB. dominion uh, <laughs> odb that's a uh, one two nineteen ninth street northwest okay, washington dc tomorrow uh hosted by rich bennett Oh, it's I'm coming. Showtime, 8 o'clock. Can 8 you o'clock tweet PM. it? Yeah, I'll tweet that. Okay. I'll tweet That's that. Yeah. Gonna be one that was going to be a hell of a I'm show. I'm coming to that. You got anything? This with any brunches? Yes. Well, not any brunches. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be at Topaz Hotel. Oh, yeah. Oh, tight. Um, and then RFD. So, Topaz is in the DuPont area. Right. Yeah. And then RFD is, of course, on 8th Street. I'm RFD Chinatown. next week. Next yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so tight. come on out, man. Yeah, my grinding. people be working. Yes, yeah. they are. That's what's up. Well, um, Rollo Boykins. Oh, at 8. I He's like an I. Follow, follow, follow me. Follow. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. what social like media is I. for. Like you can all, you always gonna know what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go. You know. Um, but Troy Webb, Rollo Boykins, Olivia Fox, thank Thanks you so you much. Guys. Thank you. DK, DJ K Meta on them ones and twos doing it. Chris Stana Hammond, my producer. I love you. Ali Blablo in Entertainment News. Eric Shermanator. Uh, as our engineer and Stretch TV, thank you so much for filming and yeah. being our camera guy. And Ricardo and Tony Richards, and we love you guys. Thank you, Nikki, for doing my makeup. Nikki Fraser, Beauty and the Bride, and Shirley G. Hair of Strands Salon in Pretty color. Wheaton. Thank you. All right, well, we'll be ne- back next week, and we got some um, special stuff 
ahead of ahead for you guys. And this is WLVS Radio Listen Vision Live.com. Up next is DJ Alize. Alize. So stay tuned. How to make it in DC. We'll see you next Wednesday. God bless you. Have a great weekend. Go to somebody's church. Give up that praise. We'll talk to you soon.